my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i am packing packing organization in fact hair is going to be up in a second probably because i have a lot to get done a lot to pack in fact by the time this video goes up am i already there i think i might be already in south africa but i thought i'd pre-film this video and show you guys what i'm taking with me that way if you spot anything on instagram or anything that i use in my vlog then you know exactly what it is because i'm going to show you everything that i pack i am actually going home uh to my family as well so i'm gonna have to do an overnight bag in a mini suitcase i did pick up a brand new suitcase this one was from originally from penguin and I picked it up at TK Maxx. Originally on this penguin label, it says that it was 320 US dollars and I got it for, I think it was 49.99 or 59.99. One of the two, 40, 40, 50 or 60 pounds. Either way, a good discount. And I like the fact that it is black and shiny and simple, minimal, plenty of space as well. And then I have a list of everything that I'm going to be taking. If you want to screenshot, then by all means do. If you guys are going away too and want some inspiration of what is on my packing list, then here you have it. So first things first, I'm gonna start with beauty. So I'm gonna line everything up on the bed, show you what I'm packing and what I'm taking beauty wise. And I've also been shopping, so I have plenty. <laughs> Nearly down. <laughs> I have plenty to show you guys what I've been buying. I've got H&M, TK Maxx, Zara, Primark, all sorts of bits. So that is all gonna be going away and I'm gonna be saving it for my holiday so that it's nice and new. Does anyone else like to do that, buy new clothes for holiday or is it just me? Right, okay, I feel like my beauty section is pretty much ready and all laid out. So I'm gonna show you everything that I am taking. First of all, I'm gonna start with makeup bags. I just always take some clear ones from Kiehl's because they can get through security. Um, and then this little pouch is just a freebie I've got from Espa, which I can take maybe on the go whilst abroad, as is this cute little one from Azarina with a little F on it. This one was from a PR package from Look Fantastic and Philosophy. It's a good, decent size, which I'm hoping all of these bits will fit into. And then this one I use for my makeup. This is from the Flatlay Company. So moving on to my beauty routine, you guys know I love the Foreo Luna 3. I've had this for months now. I've been using it on a daily basis. I really, really Really like the benefits that it has had on my skin so of course this is a travel essential for me they do actually do other versions in mini forms as well if you want I'll leave a link below so you can have a look and shop the range for you essentially have these brushes cleansing brushes for your face which are amazing as you can see all these little soft silicon touch points makes it super hygienic because it's really easy to just rinse down which is perfect for getting out all the grease and grime when you are abroad because I know when you're in and out of the sun and obviously sun cream on your face then makeup there's just a lot of dirt and bacteria build up sweat and all of that horrible grossness that this just completely eradicates clears your skin it makes it feel amazing so the way that I use this when abroad and traveling is to just essentially take this the charge on it lasts for ages so if you've charged it before I mean it lasts up to about five months so that in itself is incredible you don't even need to think about taking a charger if it is fully charged I use this Foreo Luna 3 with a cleanser which the one that I'm going to take abroad with me is this one from Kiehl's the Ultra Facial Cleanser um, that should last me to be honest with you but if I need to buy any more whilst abroad I will but I think that will be fine because pre Foreo cleanse I like to just go in with a micellar water and um, cotton pads just to remove the main bulk of my makeup this is like my secondary cleanse, which just really gets deep into the pores. If I'm feeling a little extra luxury and pamper, then the way that the ridges on the back work is you can apply a serum or oil. And once it's connected to the app, they have a variety of massage functions that you can, you can use. So especially abroad, if you're just wanting to wind down one evening, and you just feel like maybe you've caught the sun a little bit too much and you just need a little extra TLC on your skin then apply a serum to the back of this use your phone to connect via the app select one of the massage functions that you would like to go with and this honestly is just an essential I cannot recommend it enough so once I've cleansed my skin with the Foreo Luna 3 I'll then go in with a toner and again another cotton pad 
This one I'm going to take is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. It works well with the cleanser and then the moisturiser. I actually have two of these Ultra Facial Cream Mini samples, so I'm going to take them. If I run out, then I've also got a little Le Mer sample size as well. And then I have the little Kiehl's eye cream. Once I've cleansed, toned, moisturised, I then just apply a lip balm. As you can see, I'm going a lot with the mini travel size because they're quite generous. Like this shampoo and conditioner, they are generous enough to probably last me. And then if I need to buy any whilst I'm out there, then I can do so. So with the perfumes, I have a few samples that I've received from uh, PR packages in... Uh, beauty advent calendars so these are the three that I've chosen to take with me a couple of nail polishes shaves I don't need to take all of these I actually had one spare which is up there in here are two little mini sample size of their uh, shower gel so that will again last me hopefully for the whole holiday if not I can buy it out there deodorant pill contact lenses medication and then here I have like a little tanning setup so I I'm only going to be abroad for two weeks so I'm unlikely to catch a really deep tan so I have plenty of like sort of self tan to keep my tan topped up whilst abroad and then this is nice to go on on your body in an evening. Look at the glittery flecks in there and then I also have some uh, SPFs here SPF 30 and then this is an after sun and in case we have any bug issues whilst abroad. I also have a body moisturiser and body oil. Dry shampoo, always an essential, as is some hairspray. And then this I've recently discovered from Byredo. It's a hair perfume. Amazing. I usually use an electronic toothbrush, but for when I'm abroad, I just take a um, brand new one and then just dispose of it at the end of the holiday. I do need to pack my makeup, but because I'm not going home until tomorrow morning, I will need my makeup. So I also wanted to clean all my makeup brushes before I do that. And then my curlers that I use are these Babyliss 32 millimeter curling tongs, my Tangle Teaser, and some scrunchies from Primark, and some hair clips and bobbles. Right, starting on the fashion category with bags, this is everything I'm going to take, which I am pretty proud of, to be completely honest with you, with it being South Africa, I've been before, my mum nearly got her bag stolen, people keep warning us, I'm not going to take my nice YSL, I'm going to stick with my Louis Vuitton, my coach for a black one, and then I have a couple of beach alternatives, but I think that's like a nice neutral with whites and light colours, and equally all black outfits, or even with white outfits as well, that one. So they're a good go-to for me for like an evening, so that is my coach, my Louis Vuitton, and then this is like a nice kind of daytime bag, and then this is last season's Primark, I think that was about £4, so it makes for quite a nice beach bag and then I also use these little canvas bags to just, as and when I need a little bag for maybe a spare pair of shoes or a bikini or some toiletries or whatever it is that I may need to put in my beach bag, I usually put them within canvas bags or these little net bags this is a two pack from ikea and then this is probably going to be my hand luggage bag from captain and son it is a backpack which makes it nice and handy and then this is from azarina it is personalized it's a little laptop bag which i'm just obviously going to be putting my laptop in so that is it for bags okay shoes i think might be done i am changing my bedding tonight so ignore the fact that they are all on my bed <laughs> don't worry about that I hope these are all gonna fit. If they don't, I may have to rejig and sort out which ones I am going to take. Probably I'll minimize my heel amount. These are all my daytime ones they're discussing. They're my Havianas, which are just like to the beach ones, so ignore them. And these are like a Galizia flip-flop to the beach. Primark, Primark, Primark. These are like a mule with a knot. Trainers as an option for working out slash if we end up hiking up Lion's Head or anything like that. 
hat or for the airport as well I'll be wearing those. These are Primark, they are beautiful, love the little perspex. Zara, again perspex nice and clear, which I think will go with any outfit so I feel like this is a necessity, this one. These are a wedge from Primark but a really reasonable height. These are huge, actually I might take these ones out because they're quite bulky as well so they'll take up a lot of room. And then I have these cute little Primark um, like sandal strappy shoes and then these Zara ones which I love they're like a suede as well so they're really comfy and they came with a cute little duster bag I feel like this is what you call a hot mess <laughs> oh my god I'm sweating I've had to open the windows it is a workout packing so it's now one o'clock I need to start getting ready I'm actually going for some food to or well, this afternoon with Tom's family like a holiday festive meal out with them so I'm trying to get it done before I need to start getting ready in about an hour's time I haven't even started on the clothes yet <sighs> I need swimwear PJs underwear outfits obviously evening and day and workout outfit just the one <laughs> because I won't be working out much let's be honest let me just switch around and show you my sort of miscellaneous pile that I've got so obviously passport money headphones for laptop and phone this is why I need airpods I'm thinking it's going to be on my wish list for Christmas birthday even if it's present from me to me uh, my camera and chargers and adapter prescription glasses and prescription sunglasses and two pairs of sunglasses I've got my Gucci ones which are like brown and then my aviators which are gold and then this I'm going to take for the plane both our flights are actually night flights I also have some jewelry and headband I actually found this I forgot I had it so I'm going to use it for like putting on my makeup but if I on the odd occasion fancy a headband one night then I've got that as I've got this pretty gold clip which is from Primark chewing gum SD card reader this is all my jewelry I'm going to take so I've got three necklaces a couple of bangles rings hug earrings which I pretty much wear all day every day and then evening I have a couple of jazzy earrings from a variety of places and then of course I am a game I absolutely love doing puzzles and stuff on the plane I'll probably get like a generic puzzle type magazine as well in the airport but for a, actually on holiday and on the beach and everything, word search Sudoku, I have those ready to go. Right, I thought I'd do a little mini haul type section in this part of the vlog whereby I show you my new in bits, clothing wise, and if you see me munching on the time lapse, <laughs> helping keep me going during this packing extravaganza. So I have been to a variety of shores, sh stores, stores, that's, stores, shops, whatever you want to say. And I'm just going to show you in order of the stores. So TK Maxx, first of all, um, a friend of mine actually spotted this and was like, mm, I've seen this in the store. I think you might like it. So I went, found it, and I also found something else. It is a Zara blazer. So actually two Zara blazers I got. One of them is kind of a blazer. I'm not really sure what it's meant to be. But this is the first one. This is the one she spotted and pointed out to me. In a small, it's like a linen blazer. As you can see, it is from the Zara basic range and it was the bargain price of just £11 in the clearance. So I picked that up and then next to it I saw this, which I also loved. So I actually think it was either very similar to this or maybe even this exact item that I bought in the past a long time ago. It's from the Zara Circular Basic Fall Winter 18. So yeah, that's how old it is. And it is this I mean is it a blazer is it a dress I think a friend of mine has it and wears it as a dress and it looks amazing but it didn't suit me as a dress when I bought it at the time so I sent it back but as a like blazer I do actually quite like it and I also like the price point because it was in the clearance at just seven pounds it's this kind of woven cream fabric with a big button detail so mega bargains there I also popped into H&M and I spotted these on checkout on route out and picked them up because I thought they'd add a nice little bit of variety to my earring collection I like the fact that it kind of is a ladder when it goes up and you don't have to have any more than the one piercing it kind of clips onto your ear at the side and then I picked up this now weather wise in South Africa I think it's going to be hot but for evenings like sat in restaurants and I do think it goes a little bit cooler I've got these like lightweight jackets the two blazers that you saw there from Zara I also got this from H&M which was in the sale at 15 pounds in a medium and it's like a linen shacket style 
um, top with a tie waist as well. In a small, from 39.99 down to 14 pounds. And it, it's not the most flattering, but I'm thinking of wearing it with a belt. It's like a collared, open neck, uh, ribbed, thick ribbed dress with a slit on either side, but kind of Moroccan vibes. And then this I got as a shirt to go over like bikinis, swimwear, or day to day with like uh, some denim shorts maybe, but more often than not probably just with swimwear. It's just a plain simple white cotton shirt that feels so soft and nice. And again, it was in the clearance from $24.99 down to £9 in a medium. And then lastly from H&M, I got a dress for evening time or like a bit of a nicer day dress, but probably for a meal out. $24.99 down to eight pounds in a size 10. And it's this gorgeous cream. I love the shoulder kind of cut on that, just off the arms. Um, open neck, it's got a tie, waist, buckle, gold detail thing there. It's double lined, so it's not sheer at all. It's quite short, it is a mini dress, but it is um, really gorgeous fabric. One that I think would look lovely in an evening. And then I went into Zara and I actually picked up a blazer. I'm a big fan of the Zara blazers. I have obviously those sale ones that I've got, but for like all year round, I have a black one and a chocolatey brown one. And I got the same one in this kind of muted grayish, I want to say, in a large. I did size up in this one because I wanted it more oversized fit. It's just single breasted, single button. It's the exact same as my brown one that, and black one that I've got, but just in this color. I thought this would look really nice with like a white bodycon mini dress under it maybe. And then I also got this shirt, which again could be daytime, could be evening, just as a throw on. It was $25.99 from Zara, it's the part of the join life. It's just a gorgeous fabric that is gonna be a classic staple item out there nice length as well tom loved that he was like jealous they didn't do a men's similar version okay so then i actually picked up on a separate occasion these joggers in this sandy beige kind of color i think i showed them in last week's vlog yeah i did 25.99 in a small i love them so much that i'm gonna have a jogger clear out and only keep that pair and then i got the black pair i already have a white pair from zara which is this same kind of knitted fabric and funny story mum if you're watching um well actually we all already have done the journey together anyway but she went and bought these last week and i didn't realize so we're actually going to be traveling probably in the same joggers but oh well never mind uh, i don't mind at all it's just black joggers anyway they are honestly so so nice so got them and then last but not least primark i stocked up on a load of new underwear the ones that i love that they do they don't do anymore or at least not in the manchester one that weren't so they're just these seamless pack of thongs nude black in a small i got several of them and i'm just going to take you know nice new underwear have a bit of a clear out of my old ones i also picked up these two from primark these two tops they are ribbed like a bralette style top in a small they are double lined as well so nice and supportive and then two sets Oh, two sets, two sets of short pajamas for on holiday. I'm probably going to put one more set in there, and then that will do me. Time to crack on with the rest of my clothing items. Oh my goodness, I am pretty much there now. I I don't know if this is a well. It's, it says on the internet that it might rain in South Africa, so I had this like beige anorak very thin which I thought I could take as a layer I mean I probably won't use it but it takes up no room it's just Primark so we'll see if we can throw that in I don't know if this is a good method or a bad method but I pretty much put everything on the bed that I really want to take and then I thought I would whittle it down if it doesn't all fit so fingers crossed it all actually fits and I can get all this in to that so I've got all underwear pajamas here put a third set of PJs in and uh, like little crop tops workout gear uh, a mixture of shorts t-shirts denim shorts a bit more casual all my blazers and jackets probably don't need that many because I'm taking the black one that I'm wearing as well but hey ho I'm taking them all uh, shorts and like day dresses and then basics and tops and body suits oh and then a couple of dresses down there as well like evening dresses so all in all, I think I have enough clothes. It's just whether or not it'll all fit in the bag. So wish me luck.
did it. I've packed every, oh, my makeup. Mm. <laughs> Okay, well tomorrow, once I have packed all my makeup, I'm actually gonna be taking that home with me in my mini suitcase. So I may or may not end up taking every single item that's in this case. If when I get home to my parents, I can fit my makeup in here, then fine. If I need to jig some stuff around, I can always just leave things that I don't need at my parents. Um, until I get back home after holiday. So that is everything that I have packed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's given you an insight and some inspiration if you are going away yourself. Maybe you could save the video and bookmark it and watch it later for when you do end up going away. Maybe you have any summer holidays planned. <sighs> but I'm done. Feels good to be done. I just have some last minute bits that I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning before heading home. Seeing my family, having an amazing Christmas festive period, New Year. Well, New Year I'll be en route to South Africa. So by the time you're watching this video, I'll obviously be sunning it up already and hopefully loving life. So thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned for the South Africa content. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm getting up to in South Africa, then be sure to follow me on Instagram where I'm sure I will be posting daily updates. So my Instagram is Freya Farrington one and I hope to see you all then. Bye guys.